Good morning, guys. Maddie from Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping with you again. Lovely, rainy Adelaide day again. It's not why we're here doing a lithium upgrade for this gentleman, which already has lithium. So this is an existing customer of ours, and we put 450 amp hours of lithium in it a few years back. And he's just using a lot of the capacity. So he wanted to upgrade to quite a substantial amount, almost twice the amount. Now, for you guys that are thinking, well, if there's 450 amp hours of lithium in it, um, it's obviously going to take up some more space. Not the case. And in the literal sense, not the case. The cases that are used here and here are identical. The difference between them is slight height difference. We're talking 15 mil, 20 mil tops. So these are the ones we're putting in it. So the lovely scouts that I always do. And these are the old 150 amp hour solar kings. So when we originally did this, we had three of these here, right? A perfect situation here. It's a big custom built American motorhome here. Beautiful. So three 150s, that's 450. Now we're putting three 280s in it. So this is like 840 amp hours. So we're going, we're going from a, um, 450 bank right up to you know 10 kilowatt hours if you were to work it out so pretty close to double the storage capacity in the exact same footprint guys how cool is that so this is going to be an awesome setup this is already running all the victron fruit we've got the servo we've got the touch 50 on this we're also adding another um victron smart solar controller because oh mate had a wonderful idea he tows this little um you know storage trailer behind zip up you can see it see what we're doing you see that solar panel on that? That's a 400 odd watt sun power solar panel. We're gonna bring that in from an Anderson plug. We've already done this a few times and I've never never done a video on it. So if you're towing a trailer and you're able to um, you know, sacrifice the roof space on it, in this case, that, from an Anderson plug all the way into the um, back of the vehicle or motorhome, runs straight into another regulator and then that's on the V direct into the servo, you're able to see the solar production on your trailer separately to your roof array. Obviously both combined will come in together and charge, well, the new 10 kilowatt hour battery bank. So it's a really good addition. And, you know, I know I use, a lot of my customers have their motorhomes, the little tow rigs, you know, they'll use it like a Susie, like a Jimmy or something like that. Obviously you've got no roof space now, but if you do have a solar setup like a trailer, and you guys want this set up, it's a really good idea to do it because at the end of the day, like I keep saying, you never have too much solar. It's just about capturing it when you can. And like, it's overcast, completely overcast today. There's no way on planet Earth that 400 watt panel is gonna give me that type of power, obviously in full sun, yes. But you know, that's power able to come in right now on top of the roof. It's even like in overcast conditions, you know, conditions you're still gonna get a charge, just Obviously not as much, but this will be a really awesome setup. As awesome as it already was, you know, it's going to be even awesomer now. Um, and I'll do a cheeky video to add on the end of this to edit it. And then we'll see what we get out of it. I mean, like I said, it's overcast, but it is what it is. If we can get something better out of it. I'd be very, very happy. Old mate's gone for a full induction on this now. And um, even when we originally did the job, we had that in mind. Uh, I think it's like 800 watts of solar on the roof. Can't remember. Did it a while back, but I'll go through it again with you. Okay, guys, here we go. Chill in. Just gonna put some zip ties and tie the cable back up. But 840 amp hour upgrade from the 450, and we've put another 150 over there to take care of that 400 watt sun power panel. Oh, mate's trailer. So because they're networked together on the uh, servo, you can see them as a total now. So now we're, we're an overcast guys, but look what we're putting in. So if you want to see what each array is doing individually. So we've labeled them roof solar and trailer solar. That's not bad because, because it's in, um, it's all in the open, the trailer one, as you can see out there just sitting on there and that's giving me that's a 400 watt panel in overcast and i'm getting that that's pretty good 
I'd be happy with that. Oh, we're getting brighter. You can tell obviously the roof system's a lot larger. That's really good. Look, so the sun's just poked its head out real quick. Oh, let's go back before it disappears. Beautiful, guys, look at that. Only September here. So this is the additional solar, you know, additional 400 watts on top of the, I think there's 700 and something on the roof of this. Now yeah, being flat mounted though, you never get your peaks, so you just, you do the best you can. Um, I'm very lucky to get a little bit of sun in today's rain. Get the jacket on. Well, that was like perfect timing. <laughs> it's actually been raining all morning. We've had no sun and it happens to come out in the time that I film. So bonus. I'm really happy now with this setup. That's test done. I'll run the, uh, cause we put a Harrier light on this bushman's fridge and got it ready for old mate to put the induction in it so he's able to run this induction cooktop air conditioner everything all off the grid all for batteries and now with like over 10 kilowatt hours that's nearly double what he had before he can obviously extend that time and now with another 400 watts of solar his replenishment's going to be heaps better it's getting brighter outside again the numbers are going to come up so Happy days, guys. We'll put some pics up.